Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this knife. Let's start by opening a new part and then start to build our model. Uh, firstly, in the front plane we are going to create a sketch. And after here I'm placing a rectangle. Our dimensions is 160 by 25. And then I will here add one angular line. This will be 30 degree. After this operation, we can close our sketch and then go to next operation. Extrude post space, select our contour, mid plane and 12 millimeter depth. Once this is done, we go to next step. I'm going to add main chamfers, which is seven, two times seven, on this two edge. Now we can cut our knife profile. I'm selecting a reference geometry plane, and here a line, an edge, a point, and then I will create on this new plane the sketch. Now we look normal to there by clicking our space and then I'm going to add a sketch here as you see on my screen. Here a construction geometry and then we will make this tree symmetric. After this operation, we add a smart dimension, which is 45 degree. And this is done. We can keep this a little bit extended. And then we close our sketch. Extrude cut. Through all, both operation will be selected. And then we will cut whole part. As you see, after this operation, we got a cut like this. I hide my plane. Now we can add our chamfers again, which was two and a half on these edges. And we click OK. Now we'll build our chamfers. Uh, we have two more operation. One the cutouts outside and then the parts which is inside. For that I'm going to create a sketch on front plane and here I'm placing one line and converting to a construction geometry and here later a circle which will be 10 millimeter and distance center to edge will be 12 and a half. After this operation, we can make a linear sketch pattern. Center to center will be 17 and a half, and we have five instances. Now, sketch is not fully defined. By adding here one dimension, we have we will have fully defined sketch. And then I'm closing my sketch and then cutting my part through a ball. This is good. Now we can create again a sketch on front plane. We look normal to there. And we will convert this sketch. And after this, we have an offset operation. We select everything and giving one and a half millimeter distance here and clicking the reverse option. Inwards, we made one and a half millimeter offset. Now we can make an extrude and here mid plane 12, merge result will not be actively. And then we close. Now here we have chamfers 
0 0.5 each time you should select because we cannot make chamfer on different bodies and these new parts standing here as a new body as you see that's why i'm only choosing once in one time we could make an one instance also later copy with a linear pattern as a body that would be an option then you will not repeat this whole chamfer operation now uh, we can a little bit maybe give some uh, material this body let's say and this body and after this operation we come to our library again chrome first chrome yes has changed the display state and it's not looking bad and we will go cut now our cutouts which is standing outside for that on the front plane we create a sketch here i do add a rectangle and i select an arc three point and i do say here tangent then later on converting this one to into a construction geometry and we, I am just making a, a relation by moving my sketch three here three on this side which is the y-axis and the distance here will be 12 and a half and now I'm going to copy your sketch pattern here six instances and distance will be 14 let's give dimension here well here it should be 14 center to center was 14 before i believe yeah now 17 center to center and i'm going to here create an axis simply a line and then convert it to construction geometry and i will copy five of them and mirror in this axis as you see we have copies and extrude cut through through all both yeah we have only little chamfer operation and then part is done 0 0.5 little bit annoying to select normally we could include this chamfer operation in our sketch by creating there and cutting like that then we will not need to make this operation but for the repetition's sake it is okay and after this operation our knife is done in fact you can change the space state you can open different colors and then you will have this nice view if you have some skill by rendering i think you can have even much more better display state this was all thanks for watching see you in another video if you are searching much more challenging videos please do visit my channel and you'll find enough good material there thanks again for watching